Hello to you guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of Tutorial Tuesday. Today's makeup look is obviously the one that I'm wearing right now. This makeup look was highly requested by you guys. I wore this look in two videos ago, I believe, and tons of you wanted to see me recreate it. So here it is. It's pretty simple. It's just very time consuming because there's a lot of blending. Um, but I absolutely love this look. I think it looks gorgeous. It's very like almost like a sunset. Some of you said that. So maybe that's what we'll call it like purple sunsets. I don't know. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you want to learn how to recreate this look, then just keep on watching. We're starting with our transitional shade. This is a shade that I always go to when I want to do a warm look. Last time I did more of a yellow color, but I didn't really like how it looked at the end. So I'm just going to pick up this shade right here and we're going to apply it to the crease. I like to look down because I don't have a defined crease. So this just helps me place the products right where I want them. This is going to go just right above the crease, just above it because we are going to define the actual crease in a little bit, but I just want to get that color there. I'm going to use this brush. <laughs> it's dirty because I was doing some makeup earlier. Um, but this is the Sigma Blending E25 brush. Now, this brush is awesome if you have a little bit of like a hooded eye like me where your crease isn't like sunken in. I'm going to take this shade right here and I'm going to start jabbing it onto the eye. Make sure you don't hurt yourself, but this technique has worked for me really well to define my crease and just really intensify the colors. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So that I have the color nice and blended, I'm gonna go in with the center color. This is what's going to make our eyes pop. This is a loose pigment by Jaclyn Deviante Cosmetics. This is in the shade number one or color number one. It is a chroma powder. That's how she explains them on her website. And this is the color, it's like a mustard yellow. I don't know how to explain it, but it's really, really pretty. Oh, I just got it all over me. But that's the color that we're going to use on the center of our lids. Now it's completely up to you how thick you want the halo, if you want it pretty thin, if you want it pretty high. I go right about where I get a fold of uh, like my arrugas or my crease because then it'll transfer to my upper lid, if that makes sense. I'll just kind of open my eye and see where the eyeshadow is going. And then from there, I will go back and make it thicker or just leave it as is, whatever the case may be. Do you have the desired amount, amount, amount of eyeshadow onto the center of the lid? We're gonna go back with that purpley plummy shade and we're just going to start blending the inner and outer corner onto the center lid just because you don't want that huge gap of the three or the two shades. You definitely want it to look seamless. I'm just going to bring that same color, that plummy shade to the lower lash line. And I'm just going to start by smoking out the outer corner first. Then I'm going to go in into this darker plum and just smoke it out a little bit more. I'm going to use this brown shade right here. And we're going to apply it to the beginning of the eye just so it's not too smoky and it has a nice gradient effect. I'm going to use this color for my brow bone highlight. I swear guys, this makes such a difference. Once you apply the brow bone highlight, it'll bring all the colors together. And this helps a lot too if you bring your colors too far up. It'll help them lower down a little bit, if that makes sense. I'm going to use the NYC liquid eyeliner. You guys can use whatever you have. 
I'm sorry that I'm still using this one, but I'm not gonna let them go to waste. So I'm just gonna go ahead and draw my regular wing. For my lips, I'm gonna go with something super nude because I just don't want to distract anything from the eyes. So I am gonna take the Mega Last Look Liquid Cat Suit by Wet n Wild in the shade Nudie Patootie. This is like the perfect super nude shade for anything. I'm going to line my lips a little bit with the CoverGirl Lip Perfection in Smoky Intense. You guys know this is my jam. Okay guys, and there you have it. There is this halo, golden, royal, purple, smoky eye. I have no idea what to call this look, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, leave me your comments in the comment section down below and let me know what makeup tutorial you guys wanna see for next Tuesday. I'm thinking of a reverse smoky eye, but a hot pink one. Let me know what you think. If you want to see that, give this video a thumbs up. I love you chicas. Thank you so much for tuning in. Yeah. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love you and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.